Largest and most destructive fire of the season so far in the Dows. Now three homeowners are trying to put their lives back together. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy talked to those who evacuated and joins us live to show us all that was lost. Well, Pete and Riel, fire officials say that the milepost 87 fire started near the eastbound lanes of I-84 and quickly grew. It's important to point out that level three evacuations have been lowered to level two and people have been returning home throughout this day. But unfortunately, this home right behind me is one of the three that were lost in this fire. You can see it's completely reduced to rubble. But as the camera zooms out and pans to my right, you can just see a small fraction of this devastation. You can still smell that smoke and the charred remains out here in the Dalles. Now, fire officials say that this is a fast moving wildfire and it grew to about 150 acres. And sadly, a dog did lose its life. A fast moving fire fueled by strong winds and dry vegetation. There's nothing you can do with the high winds that were at 35. There was no stopping it. Harry Larson lives off of 15 Mile Road in the Dalles and watched as the milepost 87 fire burned across the street from him. We've never had a fire this close to us before. We've had, there's been some big fires around here. Uh, the big substation fire from, what is it, about four or five years ago? Um, that's within about a mile, started within about a mile of here. That's the only other big fire. Thankfully for Larson, the fire didn't jump the road. But for three other homes, this is what remains. You can see twisted metal and burned out cars where two mobile homes used to stand. Then up the hill, a chimney is all that remains from another. That's where I spoke to Mid-Columbia Fire and Rescue Chief Robert Palmer. It seems to be an early start to fire season right now, so it's uh, we've had some other fires previous to this one. Palmer showed me around some of the damage. We stood above a ridge where flames raced up from below just a day before. He says this is also the most destructive fire so far this season. Since the fire season is still early, it could be a long one. We anticipate that, um, you know, with the weather conditions uh, the way they are currently and the way... Um, We've been told as far as long range forecasts are going to be that they have the potential, high potential of getting larger. Over the three decades Larson has lived off of 15 Mile Road, he's always been good at keeping a defensible space around his property. This means keeping grass cut low, vegetation watered, and tree branches away from his house. He says if this fire started later on in the season, it could have been a lot worse. If it had gotten into the wheat fields that were, you know, ripe and very dry back in then, it could have been another substation fire. And coming back out live here, I just want to show you something that I found on the walk with uh, Chief Palmer. This is actually a golf ball. You can see how hot the fire got. It's completely melted in this form. There's a little bit of white, and you can kind of see the divots to make it recognizable as a golf ball. Now, the Red Cross did say they did close their evacuation shelter since most of those level three evacuations have been reduced to level two, and this fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in the Dallas, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.